this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! Today, we've got to head on over to Windia, so let's head on back through the Focus Tower and put that new coin that we got to use. And if your ears are sensitive to awesome radiation, you may want to turn down your speakers in the very near future. You know why, viewers. You know why. Hey, it's that old guy again. Is he stalking me? How's it going? Okay. We already knew that, but, uh... Thanks for the reminder, I guess. Well, there we go. I guess it's nice that they have a little reminder like that, like they do in, uh... Like Final Fantasy XIII, whenever you load up a save, it tells you, like, what's been going on with the plot lately. But anyway, this is Doom Castle, my favorite dungeon theme in the game. Kick ass! Yeah! But anyway, we got some new enemies here. Or, okay, a new enemy over there. We got Shadow. They are weak to thunder! So let's use that on him. Uh, you can't kill that guy, so let's attack that guy. Uh, Shadow is also weak to ice and I think wind, but we don't have uh, wind elemental attack in this game. So, er, well, so far. So, oh well. If only there were a way that we could get a wind elemental spell in this game. We can! We get Arrow! And for those of us in the United States, that was probably the first time you've ever seen a Wind Elemental spell. I mean, they never had anything like that in Final Fantasy 1 or Final Fantasy 2. Or, well, that was Final Fantasy 4, but you know what I mean, viewers. So, yeah, I mean, that, that was a, I like that. It's a nice touch that they uh, actually put that in there. Maybe a reference to Final Fantasy 3 that wasn't released here. But anyway, let's check out the rope bridge here. This looks dangerous. Oh, wait, I want my claw though. What the? Monsters! Uh, shouldn't we be working together? Nuts. That didn't work out so well. Let's get him! This is another new enemy, Mummy. Who actually looks like a mummy for a change. But anyway, he is weak to wind elemental attack. So let's use that one on him. Yeah, there we go. Wow, look at that damage. I could probably take out two of them with that thing. Kind of weird with uh, Wind Elemental Spell being the strongest of the uh, four elements, but oh, there you go. Well, I suppose it was that way in Final Fantasy 1, but... Oh, all right, he's in one piece, because as we all know, Final Fantasy characters can survive falls of infinite height. Hey, I know that song. Tristan! Hey, how's it going, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Kid, call me sub. God damn it! Sure, all right. More party members, and he's stronger than ever before. I like how he, uh, what is it? H how they are starting to have like old care. Well, you have a character from earlier in the game uh, rejoin you, and they're stronger than they were before. You know, kind of reminds me of. Uh, but, well, Final Fantasy IV when they did that, you know? Although I wish they did that in Final Fantasy Legend 2, but... Or Final Fantasy Legend 3, but... Well, you take what you can get. But anyway, yeah, you go down the second vine, and then the fifth vine, and you can get some items, like seeds. Alright, there we go. Well, let's just move along. We're, uh, ditching Reuben, apparently. Does Tristram have any new spells? No. Any new items or anything that I care about? Well, he is protected against fire in death, but I suppose, like, what happened to the music? Huh. Well, I suppose I don't care about those. I could reset if I really cared, but no, nah, no, nah, I don't think so. So let's check out the Alive Force. Aren't all Force alive? Huh. And here's another one of the game's 93 Force. Nah. Nah. But uh, anyway, here we got some new enemies. Spector! Not to be confused with Specters. But, uh, all the same, they are weak to wind elemental attacks and, uh, projectile attacks. Which, fortunately, we just happened to get Tristam at the right time. So, hopefully with Arrow, I believe I can take out two enemies at once that are weak to wind. Because it is pretty strong. Yeah! Alright, got him. How is your agility there, Tristam? I didn't even think about that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you've got a lot more, so, yeah, I don't have to worry about that at all. Alright, I like having my second character be, uh, faster than me. Nuts! Man, there's a weird-looking tree up there. Huh. 
not. We can't get up there. We don't even have the right crest for that. Oh well. Hey, hey! Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. Okay, well, never mind. Might as well keep on going south. Why do you have the arrow pointing to the left there? Okay, well, we might as well head on down here and go across this non-rope bridge. Oh, hey, more ghosts. Die! Oh, that didn't work too well. And by the way, don't be afraid to use all of your uh, spell charges for arrow, because uh, I don't think you could run out, or if you did, you'd be very close to the end anyway. This is not a very long area, so you might as well just blow all your enemies away. Just don't blow it. Hmm, that tree looks suspicious there. Haha! -ha! Where's that tickets? To a secret treasure! Not that I really need it. Not that it's even that good, but... Well, I just like saying secret treasure! Tristan can't uh, one-shot those mummies or whatever they are, so don't worry about that. Apparently, those mummies can get you stoned, too! I didn't know that! Well, you gotta watch out for that or they will kill you! Man, it's kind of weird having my second character be such low level than compared to me, but in this chest we get the Giant's Axe, the most powerful axe in the game. So, yeah, it's even more powerful than the Mega Grenade on a single enemy, so we really should almost never have to use those unless we're trying to weaken a group of enemies at this point. So, alright, there we go. And it still looks like the same axe as before. Would've been cool if they actually made it like a real giant, like a huge axe, like as big as those trees. Just the big trees, I mean, you know? That would've been kinda cool, but eh, oh well. But anyway, this is where we want to go, actually. Apparently, sometimes Tristan will just sit on his ass, too. Well, before talking to that guy, let's go over here first. We got some more treasure. Well, okay, we'll talk to him now. Why not? Okay, how's it going? Let me pass through this forest. None shall pass. Oh, yeah, she can. <laughs> Aquaria, huh? Well, okay, let's head on over there then. But first things first, let's clear out some more items. And get some more treasure while we're at it, too. I think this is the last of them. These all take you inside those trees that we were seeing earlier there. But all right, we got some more ninja stars. Awesome. Anything up here? Oh, more enemies. Well, I suppose another reason for using bombs is to avoid counterattacks from using melee weapons. So, okay, now that we're done here, I'll just meet you over at Aquaria and look for Kaylee. All right, we're back at Aquaria, so let's see. Where did Kaylee say she was going to go? She was going to go to Aquaria. Did she say she was going to see Phoebe? Well, I don't know, but that's where she is, so I'll just talk to her then. Oh, oh okay, sure, why not? I'll just meet you all the way down in Spencer's place. And the waterfalls back there remind me of an area in Dragon Quest IV. I wonder why. Eh, whatever. What's going on, buddy? Oh, nuts. I don't know, huh? So we, get, so we have to go to Windia. I'm already on the way there. That's Treasure Hunter! Call me a Treasure Hunter, I'll rip your lungs out! Oh, really? Huh. Well, where is it? What, that's it? You're just gonna go with me through half an area? Nuts. Oh, well, okay, uh, I guess. Well, we got the ladies anyway, so... Where are you guys going? Oh yeah, you still got that cool thing, huh? Hey, hey, all right! We got the Dragon Claw! That, that's the item that we found way at the uh, beginning of the game there with, well, I don't know if it was way at the beginning, but closer to the beginning than the end, so. Um, okay, why? Nuts. Yeah, you, you might wanna run. <laughs> I just like how she's just running real fast like that, and Benjamin's just like, eh, screw it. Well, great job there, Phoebe. Okay, well, anyway. You gonna facepalm? No, they don't have a facepalm animation in the game here, so, oh well. But, uh, yeah, let's just warp out of there, and then we'll talk to Kaylee, see if she's awake yet. Yeah, but now we can use the Mighty Dragon Claw. Hmm, I wonder what that could be used for. But anyway, also, with the Dragon Claw, you can inflict almost every status ailment in the game, except instant death, 
but you can inflict Petrify it on an enemy to get them stoned, which is effectively the same thing. So it doesn't always work for that, but hey, you, you know, you got an opportunity to try it, you know, hey, why not? It's not that great on the attack power, but it's still good for casting spells, too. All right, well, I suppose she actually recovered before the end of the game. What a concept! Yeah, yeah, he's not doing too good there. Yeah, besides, we need more party members! All right, we got Kaylee, so she'll be able to help us with our dual axe power to get through the alive forest. Next time, let's play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!